What's up guys? So today we are in my friend Anthony's Mustang. We can see, I know you got, you got a lot of Mustang haters in here. Actually, this is like one of the cleanest, you'll see here in a minute, this is one of the cleanest Mustangs you've probably ever seen. And it hasn't hit anybody yet, so it has a good record. But we're gonna go out there, we're gonna do a little clip of the car, ask me a few questions. This particular one is supercharged, but we'll go over all the modifications and stuff like that um, with a panorama going around outside the, you can check out the outside and inside of the car and all the small modifications he's done. Then tomorrow I'm gonna be doing another car and this is probably like a new series I wanna do. It's not really a car review. It's just more checking out some of the local cars in my area. There's a lot of really nice built ones, but there's some that are not so much, but at least this will give some content. You know, like I said before, I'm a full blown car enthusiast. I don't care what you drive as long as it's built right. And this Mustang was built right. Not like some cars that are all half. Not 100% sure this is even installed correctly. <laughs> All right, put my seatbelt on. Safety first, kids. So now we're gonna go on a little, uh, do a, a baby little pool on this thing. We don't really have a good area around here, so we'll probably just go on the main road, do a little pool so you guys can see. This car is pretty quick. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the introduction of it is uh, Mustangs have what they call live axles. It's a solid axle that goes all the way across, just like trucks. Um, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing when you're uh, drag racing and stuff like that. Definitely. But on the street, that's why Mustangs tend to break loose. Guys who buy Mustangs who never really driven them before, they're not used to that feeling because it doesn't, the body doesn't shift and it doesn't do things like other cars do that have independent rear suspension. Now the newer Mustangs, what was it 2015 and yeah, up? Yeah, 2015. 2015 and up have independent rear suspension. So, but we're gonna go on the main road, do a little pull here. Let me see if I can get the gauges. like three times during that whole process. Every year. <laughs> and what was that, like 100? I was like maybe 110. 110 miles an hour, pretty quick. Guys, so we are on the way to the local Dodge dealership. I'm just kind of curious of what they have for uh, Hellcats, because if you guys actually follow me on Instagram, you know that I actually posted, uh, there's a 2016 Hellcat in Corpus Christi, which if you're not familiar with Texas, Corpus Christi is down uh, by the Gulf, like all the way on the coast. And, um, Basically, uh, there's a black 2016. It has the upgraded leather interior because Hellcats, the upgraded interior for the Scat Packs is considered the base model interior for Hellcats. You know, that, that suede and Alcantara, that's considered the base interior for Hellcats. And then if you get full-blown leather for the uh, upgraded interior. So there's the black one, has black leather interior, has a sunroof, which is also an upgrade. Not sure if it has, I think it has a hardened carton system. Uh, system. I think they all do, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but anyway, they want $50,000 for that car and it has like 1,800 miles on it. So I've been really looking at getting a Hellcat now because they're starting, they drop price quite a bit. Um, so yeah, part of this vlog today, we're going to head over there. We're going to check out what the local dealership has. Cluster, but the baseball doesn't have the function, but at nighttime when the, everything lights up, um, 
it actually has like a shift light in the, in the tachometer, so it it turns red when it's time to shift. I know the new ones like they uh, they have a standard in the new ones. Yeah, I know. Like if you guys haven't checked out the 2018 Mustang, uh, a lot of people, including my friend Anthony here, are not really fans of the of the body, the way it looks, but. That full digital dash is fucking baller. I don't care yeah. who you are. That's if you haven't awesome. seen a video, yeah, if you haven't seen a video yet, or if you're thinking about getting a, a Mustang 5.0 and you check out this video just because, but no bullshit, like, I mean, to each his own. If you want a Mustang, to get a Mustang, just build it right. But regardless, if you can get that dash, get that dash. There's actually some videos on uh, Instagram that the guys who already got 2018s with that dash, and it's fucking cool, man. And that's like high speed shit, you know, like. For a long time, only like higher end Mercedes and BMWs and stuff, like high end luxury cars, not even performance cars. It was more luxury cars that had that. We're here, might as well check out. I didn't know they had the 2019s already here, but yeah, 2019 Ram. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of the front end, or maybe if they didn't have the big Ram with the weird thing like that, maybe if it was just all like billet, just open or something. Headlights are pretty cool. This is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I know Ford's been doing that for a while, or one of them, Chevy or Ford has, oh, it's Chevy, they, they put the Duramax logo. Now, the interior in these are pretty, like, really fucking nice, though. I know that, I saw some videos about this, but this one is MSRP at 48 grand. You can get a Hellcat for that, bro. Nice, even being floppy does look nice. But check out what's over here hiding. If I had a big family and I had the money, this is what I would buy. It's an SRT Durango, but they're way too overpriced in my opinion. This bitch is probably like 70 grand or 80 grand. But it does look nice. One thing I don't like about Dodge, I think I mentioned this before, is if I was going to buy one of these, um, unless I was going to drive it on the daily, uh, if my wife was going to drive it or something, let's say, I wouldn't even get the SRT. I would actually get the SRT package because that's what irritates me about Dodge, man. They'll sell it as a package so that you can get, you can get a Durango's that look like this but doesn't have the 392. But, I mean, these cars, they look pretty much, um, if you're familiar with the Jeep, the, a lot of this stuff looks kind of like a mixture of the Jeep and the Chargers on the interior. Like the front seats, if you look at them, the SRT seats, they're the same seats. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> they put bigger tires on the Jeep than they do the... Yeah, you get bigger tires on the Jeep, or on the Durango than you do on a, on a Hellcat. But yeah. It is, is all-wheel drive, which is pretty sweet. So you don't have to worry about traction issues, but this one is priced out at 69,125. And to be honest, <laughs> look at this ugly fucking thing. <laughs> it's a 300 with like a fucking, some kind of weird front end thing going on. Look at the gap in that, bro. That's fucking horrible. Yeah, but these SRT Durangos are really nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I just, I get upset that if you're gonna spend $70,000, like this is 70 grand, and if you're gonna spend 70 grand, I wanna be exclusive. I want mine to only look like that. I don't want, you know, Dodge guys? One guy was. I don't want my, my mine to look like every other fucking Durango on the street, because I actually saw one the other day that was actually a, uh, it was a not an SRT. It was a regular uh, Durango uh, with the SRT trim. Actually, there goes a red one right there. That red one, right over there. That's a Durango, but without, it's a, the SRT appearance package, not the actual full-blown car. So we got some Chally's over here. What we got? That's a RT. No, 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 no. That's uh, not sure what that is. SXT probably. V6. So they got a Daytona up here. That's a 392. What else do they got? I don't think they got any Hellcats. It's crazy. Last time they had like three of them up here. They don't even have a single one. Unless the only ones they have are inside somewhere, which is a possibility. None of these chargers either. I guess we're not checking out a Hellcat today. I do like this color the more I look at it. Which one? Destroyer Gray? Yeah. The Octane Red's pretty nice too. 
Well, like the bright red, like that one over there, I'm not a like, it's a so-so, but like the octane red, like that, like this truck is also the same one. Oh, that's an eco diesel. Very nice. No hell, no hell gatos. Fortunately, that was a bust. Um, I didn't realize there's like no Hellcats here, not even outside. Um, I wonder if it's like, I don't know if they already, what's going on with the 2018s, what's left, or if they're waiting for the 2019s to come in. Obviously the 2019 Rams are here already, but it was cool to check out the Durango and stuff. All right guys, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, that little vlog. I'm gonna be trying to post up vlogs a little bit more often. Uh, this is actually a, the next day and wearing a different shirt. Just never really did an outro to the video. I ended up going somewhere and doing some stuff after that. But um, as I was saying in the video, um, probably might be listing the R for sale. Like I said, in the back of my head, I bought it more as a uh, potential money maker. Also, you know, to see how the channel would do with it. But since uh, my wife is doing really well in her job and everything's going good, you know, the house is good, my job is good, you know, might actually take a jump on a Hellcat here sometime. It may not be that soon, not like in the next month or a couple of weeks or anything like that, but, you know, maybe fairly soon. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I also miss, you know, the community and stuff. I want to go to We Are More Part 3 in Dallas this year again. Uh, I'm going to go down to Houston to go check out Jose at Mod FX and stuff like that, which I still want to do. But uh, so, yeah, like I said, um, that video that we recorded, which was a Mustang, obviously you only got a few shots. That will be a whole separate video coming up, um, hopefully later on this coming week. And then also today, I'm going to be checking out um, HR1 Scat. Uh, which is a friend of mine here, local guy named Hector, but you can look him up on Instagram. He has probably one of the most badass scat packs that's around. Well, probably the most badass scat pack in this area. And even, even outside of this area, I haven't really seen one as nice as his, and he has a lot of money into it, but we'll be checking out that car later on this evening as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, like always, keep it gangsta. And I'll catch you guys on next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.